spirit, aren't we? July, Christmas in July is right around the corner, <laughs> showing us how to actually paint a beautiful picture of Christmas, whether it's July or December, any time of the year. You need good paint brushes for that. These are DIY paint brushes provided by Paige. That's right. Yes. <laughs> you know, when I look at uh, paint brushes, I think DIY. Do you? So, okay. <laughs> now I'm using the paint brush as the actual material. Oh. But you do need another paintbrush to paint it. Oh. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's a department It's a lot of, the of paintbrushes. Yes, yeah, exactly. But it's so much fun because once you do these little characters, and I've done Santa and all his friends, yes. and you sit Look them up, it gets you in the mood to start your DIYs, even I if it's way early, these. like it is today. They're of different sizes as well. Yes. I see they're wide, too. This is a two and a half inch one. Um, this, yep, we've got a three inch, the and the little angel and the elf. That's one inch. Um, yeah. yeah, so you really you can use any size that you Are want. We Repurposing old brushes? Or are we are these new? You can repurpose old brushes, uh -huh. um, but I I am so hard on my brushes. I actually yeah. had to buy new ones. I couldn't find any that weren't quite crusty. To paint the new ones that no, you bought. No, exactly. Right? <laughs> so if you were going to use the old ones, I would say maybe use turpentine or really or them? soak them in hot water overnight. Sure. Sure. Just so, or you know, it adds to the to the flavor of what Santa will look like at exactly. the end. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. Oh, so we have the brushes. What else do we need? Okay. So then you need artist brushes. So now these are regular paint brushes. Mm -hmm. These are artist brushes. They're they're Small thinner ones. and they're mm -hmm. it's kind of like using a pen. And then okay. you can see what else I have here. We have googly eyes. Always a good day. Always when they important. Show up. Yes. These are little button nubs mm -hmm. out of wood. Um, what would you call those? Marshmallows. No. Pom poms. <laughs> <laughs> Don't eat them. Okay. Um, so I got and them smaller in, ones. in white and red. This is for Rudolph's nose. This um, is that, uh, that heavy felt, It's, right? it's like such a, good, yeah, yeah. yeah they buy it, you buy it in sheets and you can use it um, yeah. for, for little little creatures. So you can do that and then embellishments. I've got um, little holly here, some stars, um, some yeah. little s snowflakes. Other than the scissors and maybe the hot glue gun, mm -hmm. I see everything safe for kids to get involved with this. Yes, right? So this yes. would be fun to do with them? This would be so much fun, yes. Yeah. And you don't have to use hot glue. You could use um, something a little slower and safer for kids. Okay. Um, but we're going to use hot Let's glue. Let's get started. I want to see For two how big we... kids like us. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So the first thing I did here, you can see I have a regular paintbrush. Uh -huh. um, first thing I did was I painted the top red. Now this is glossy, okay. and so I kind of had to do a few coats. Okay. Um, thinking back now, if I would have sanded this down a little bit, would have been my much easier. So I'm going to sure. tell you guys at home, sand, sand it, it down. down. Yes. Yeah, so you paint that red. You can see I do that, done mm -hmm. that here. Now this is the fun part because I had never painted a paintbrush. So um, we're going to make him look like Santa. And so we're going to give him a beard that kind of goes down in a V out of white. And you can oh, see here, I've, so all, I've already mixed a color and kind of painted his face there. Uh -huh. So all you do is get your um, paint and then you're painting on the paintbrush. You're actually putting paint where it's supposed to go on the brush. Right. But not at the bottom. Okay. Because, you know, um, you could think, like, maybe I could dip this and it would get the same yeah. effect. Not really, because no. we want his beard to look really cool and, and kind of feathered. Yeah, and you're actually kind of going into the brush, not just on the top few yep, ones. Yep, you're kind of getting a few. And then mm -hmm. what I did for the top is I kind of just drew two little half moons there. And you can fill oh, that in. Oh, I was going to say you're going out of lines, but you intended to do that. You yes. You want to do that little... That's going to be wow. his stash. Okay. His mustache. Oh, his stash. His so. stash. Okay, and then we're going to take red. Different brush. Okay. Different brush. Yeah, you could rinse it out, mm -hmm. um, but I'm starting new. And then you paint his outfit. So oh. Santa wears a, a red uh, jacket there, but it's so much fun because at first when you start doing this, you're like, oh yeah. gosh, I shouldn't be painting a paintbrush. Right. Then you get addicted. And this, it's really fun. You know what this would be great for? Just looking at this as if your kid wanted to make a project for their art teacher for Aww, Christmas. Oh, that'd be you know, so, so it'd cute. Be something like this, and it'd be affordable. It'd be fun to do. Oh, it's and so much for, fun for an art teacher in school. It'd be great. Okay. Love our teachers so now, too. once I know my mom and brother, there both you teachers. Go. Okay. So we've got his um, beard. We've mm -hmm. got his mustache. We've got his outfit. So now you can see here. Um, we made buttons. Yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So I took the back of my artist paintbrush. You just dip it in uh, the black paint. Yep. And then you do one, a two, a three. three. Yeah. So that's how you get the buttons. Um, you, you could try to use, freehand, you yeah. could do a, a Sharpie. You could do, um, but the, really the only thing I needed the Sharpie for was on the angel because everyone else has big eyes. Oh, Hers so, were closed. Yeah. Yes. She has closed and oh. lashes. No. Yes, so she, she's pretty fancy. Okay, okay. so now you're going to set that aside, let okay. that dry, and it takes a couple hours to dry. Okay. Um, and then, so we have this. Can I have you hold that up sure. for me? I'm first going to add the brim of Santa's hat. So this is just a fuzzy pipe cleaner. Okay. And I'm going right on the brush here. Add in the front the hot glue if it wants okay. to come out. Okay. Okay. And then we bend it around. 
Oh, and while I'm doing this, I want to show you guys the back. All I did that same um, thing that I did with the little black buttons. Oh. I gave oh, him curly yeah. hair in the back. Oh, nice. Yes, I, I figured he was kind of curly <laughs> uh, in the back there. So then we add that to the back. there, add glue, put on the rim. You think we're good? Styling here. He is styling. Okay, so now. We've got his hat. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna make a little tiny pom pom or marshmallow, as you call them, on the top. <laughs> they Just, look like marshmallows. They do a little bit. So we're gonna. Um, on. That's the top of his hat. Okay. And now we need a nose and eyes. So for the nose, all I did was take these little wooden um, nubs. Mm -hmm. uh, they're half inch, and I painted. I just mixed the pink. Or I mixed the, the red white, and the white to yeah. make pink. So what you want to do is put a little glue on the back of this button. You could also use real buttons too. I saw um, some inspiration pictures where people uh -huh. are using actual buttons. I love how this is slowly coming to life for me. Like at it's, first, I'm like, oh, I don't quite see it. Yes, and, then and now it it's becoming coming Santa. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so now for his eyes, um, you want to make sure that you put the glue on the actual paintbrush because mm -hmm. then. They won't jiggle around. These are googly eyes. They can get googly <laughs> on you. Yeah, they, they sometimes get a mind of their own. You don't want to get them so, cross eyed, isn't it? I uh, know. Well, the elf, you know, I think you could take liberties with the elf, but Santa, he's got to yeah. have a clear head. Okay, so there we go. And we're Look ready. There. Wow, Woo. lovely. And just this other one down here, I want to show, ask real quick the, yes. uh, the mustache. The mustache. Okay, so now I feel like this is Santa after he's gone down a few. Um, a few yeah, chimneys. chimneys. <laughs> yes. So this is um, a brush that was used. Mm -hmm. So all I did, if you guys, if you know anyone with a handlebar mustache, mm -hmm. you know they just twist and twist and twist. Yep. So when you're doing that, just twist them up, add a little bit of glue, twist again, add a little bit of glue, and then you've had handlebar I mustache. I would love to see your pictures. Send them in if you could try this at home. <laughs> I think they're going to be adorable. Uh, your own version. We and we'll leave some of the instructions on our website as well. But I think this is one of those you can kind of get the idea yes. and then run with it.